Love for one's land is an innate connection. Almost everyone has this connection to their home country. I am Habiba Al Kubra and Pakistan is my first home country. The word Pakistan means the land of pure people, but mostly this land lacks such people. I belong to the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, a religious minority in Pakistan. I had my first introduction to religious discrimination in my school from my schoolmates and my textbooks. My identity was a Qadiyani, disbeliever, a Mirzai, and many other forms of humiliation. As time passed, I learned that I am not permitted to greet so-called pure people. I have no rights and laws for my protection. I will be shunned if I call myself a Muslim. There is no punishment for the execution of Ahmadis. The people of this land have full power to desecrate my mosques. Moreover, every Muslim has to declare the Ahmadi community as a disbeliever to get an ID card, a passport or any other government issued cards. Consequently, I am not eligible to vote in any of the elections. My status in my homeland was second, third, or maybe a non citizen even after being born there. The dilemma of discrimination turned into fear and uncertainty when there was a massacre in two of Ahmadiyya mosques on May 28, 2010 in Lahore. The terrorists were wild beasts armed with guns, grenades and suicide vests. They killed 94 Ahmadis and caused injury to more than 120 people. Although it was not a new massacre, but it was more massive than all other massacres. I lost two of my uncles in this brutal bloodshed. After this incident, terror prevailed in our lives and replaced the love of the home with the fear of survival. My kids were raised in an environment of terror and were fully aware of their vulnerable status. Then, one day, my life changed suddenly when I got an opportunity to migrate to Canada. It was a life-changing day for me when I was flying to a land of happiness and purity, a land of immigrants and refugees. This land did not claim to be the land of pure people, but I found the people of this land pure, welcoming and protective. The land was adorned with colorful leaves and mesmerized me. I felt like I am Alice in Wonderland. I was overwhelmed to know that I am a first-class citizen in Canada. I have a right to vote. I have protection against discrimination. I have an approach to all laws despite my religion. I receive all the honors I wish to have in my country. My new name distinction becomes a president's choice identity here. Life becomes beautiful. Now my kids do not have questions like who they are and how they will be killed in this country. Furthermore, the magic of this country did not stop yet. The fairy land allows me to grow more and made it possible for me to accomplish my dream of getting higher education. Every day in Canada brings new experiences, new learning opportunities and new vibes. I become acquainted with the rituals and celebration of Happy New Year, Christmas, Chinese Happy New Year, Kwanzaa, Easter, Diwali, Hanukkah, Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha, and Ramadan in the same region without any conflict. It is always amazing to me that so many cultures and people are living a peaceful and satisfying life in Canada. My transition from fear to courage is not a painless chapter. Today, I am living in a world where fear is an unknown entity. I am living in a world that protects me and my family. Long story short, I am living in a world that gives me wings to fly high every day. My beloved Muhammad, Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Love for one's country is part of faith, and my faith affirmed every day that Canada is home, and home is Canada. Thank you.